Here we go again. This is the United Plug News. Welcome back. Sergio Reguilon has returned to Tottenham after having his loan spell at Manchester United cut. United signed for full back in the summer on an initial 12-month deal to help cover their back line. Defender never managed to make a consistent breakthrough in Eric Ten Hag's lineup with just seven starts. But he never managed to make a consistent breakthrough in Eric Ten Hag's lineup with just seven starts. And following only 12 games in total, Regalon will return to parent club Spurs. According to The Athletic, United triggered a break clause in the contract that allowed them to terminate the loan move. Reguilon was initially signed to provide backup to Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia. But Shaw has returned from injury, and Malaysia is also nearing full fitness. And with United out of Europe and the Carabao Cup, the decision was made to send Regulon back to Spurs as fixtures have thinned. Ten Hag in December confirmed that the 27-year-old Spaniard did have a break clause in his loan contract. He said, We have to make a final decision on Regulon. But also there is Spurs who are involved in that conversation as well. Spurs currently have Destiny Udogi and Ben Davies occupying their left-back position. And Udogi, signed from Udinese in 2022 for 18 millions of pounds, has been one of manager Ange Postacoglo's finest performers this season. His form saw Spurs reward him with a bumper new six-and-a-half-year deal in December. Udogi said, I'm really happy because I think to be here at this club is a big joy for me. So I'm really happy for this opportunity, and it's a pleasure. From the first day I came here, I felt at home with the players, the coaching staff, and the club. I feel so welcome, and I'm happy to be here. Meanwhile, United are considering loaning midfielder Dan Gore this month. Gore, 19, made his debut against Crystal Palace in the League Cup win in September, and he has already generated interest from Preston North End, as well as other championship clubs. Fellow midfielders Casemiro and Mason Mount are expected to return from injury in mid-January, though Sofian Amrabat is unavailable all month, as he represents Morocco in the Africa Cup of Nations. While, United have received inquiries from League One and League Two clubs about taking striker Joe Hugel on loan. Hugel, 20, is expected to sign a new contract as part of any arrangement to head out on a first career loan. Again and again. It is reported that Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho could move to West Ham in January, according to The Telegraph. The winger has been exiled from United's squad since September after publicly criticizing Eric Ten Hag. A stumbling block for West Ham would be Sancho's high wages, which could see United subsidize any deal. It's not the first time West Ham have been in for a United outcast, as they took Jesse Lingard on loan in January 2021. They were also heavily interested in Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay this summer. Meanwhile, Frankie de Jong has remained tight-lipped on rumors linking him with Manchester United. A reporter said to him, Your fifth season at Barcelona, your club, your city. But Man UFC is still there, always interested. A new league could bring you new impulses, right? De Jong replied, Possibly. But I am very satisfied at Barcelona. It's always difficult to say. For now, I feel good here. On the other side, Manchester United are in preliminary talks with Shola Shortire over a new contract as they plan a loan exit for him in the January transfer window. The 19-year-old is eager to leave the club on loan this month after a tough couple of years that have seen him overtaken in the United pecking order by other academy graduates. Shortire made his senior debut at the age of just 17 and holds the record as the youngest player to represent United in European competition. However, he has found first-team opportunities hard to come by, and a lone exit is viewed as the right next step for Shortire to gain valuable experience and continue his growth in the professional game. The Manchester Evening News understands Shortire received interest from championship clubs and abroad last summer and is attracting plenty of attention again this month. A permanent exit this year also can't be ruled out, and United are eager for the teenager to sign a new deal before any potential loan move in order to protect his value in case he is sold. Elsewhere, Gary Neville questions United's stance on keeping Victor Lindelof and Raphael Varane beyond the summer. Lindelof has had his year-long extension triggered, but Varane will not be offered a renewal of his current deal. He may still be offered a reduced terms deal though. Neville says, neither should be allowed to stay on. 
If United are looking to renew Lindelof and Varane on reduced terms, I'm worried, he said, again and again. Manchester United are starting to get squad management decisions right with contract call. A host of Man United players are out of contract this summer, but there has been no desperate rush to renew deals at Carrington. New Year's Day could have dawned with an influx of contract offers for some Manchester United players. Several members of this squad are now free to negotiate deals with overseas clubs for a free transfer in the summer. The reality is likely to be a little different. United have taken the one-year option on the contract of Victor Lindelof, a 29-year-old low-maintenance centre-back who isn't a particularly high earner and would have admirers across the continent for those reasons. In the case of the six other first-team squad members out of contract in 2024, United haven't yet activated options or sought extensions. For a club that has made a habit of offering unnecessary contracts to protect unlikely valuations, it is an improvement in decision-making when it comes to squad management. Perhaps the most pressing of that sextet is Hannibal Mabry. The 20-year-old might fall short of making it as a regular at Old Trafford, but there is resale value there. Borussia Dortmund were keen to sign him in the summer, and a sale might be considered this year, particularly when financial fair play concerns are again likely to dominate. At the other end of the age spectrum, goalkeeper Tom Heaton turns 38 in April. He was wanted by Luton Town in the summer and would have been first choice at Kenilworth Road, with the Hatters willing to pay around £1.5 million, of pounds, but Eric Ten Hag refused to sanction the move. Johnny Evans turns 36 tomorrow and has proved to be a shrewd addition this season, given the injuries in defence. Nobody would have expected him to start nine Premier League games this season, but he has performed admirably. Even so, an extension is something that can be put off until the summer. The case of Rafael Varane is now well documented. The 30-year-old is one of the highest earners in the squad, but has proved to be unreliable in terms of availability missing around one in three games since his 42 millions of pounds move from Real Madrid. On ability and CV, he is an attractive proposition for clubs in Europe, but none will pay him what he is getting at Old Trafford. Varane might feel like he is being forced out, but he will be 31 when his contract expires and hasn't been fit to play often enough. It is unrealistic to believe he should remain at the club on the same terms. Any kind of extension for Anthony Marshall is now also unrealistic. The striker has been out with illness for three weeks and has again made little contribution this season. With Rasmus Hoyland now at the club and another forward likely to follow, United just cannot give another contract to an attacker who has scored 90 goals in 317 games. A parting of the ways has to finally occur this summer. Finally, there is Aaron Juan Bissaka. English players going abroad has become more prevalent in recent years, but Juan Bissaka leaving these shores is unlikely. He struggled to adapt following the move from London to Manchester, so it's difficult to see the right-back wanting to try his luck in Europe. 